Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me and congratulations on the new year of After Party. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Kind of starting off because obviously it's the second year of the show, but this is a very much a series where the, you're kind of building something new very like it's kind of following the structure of the last year, but obviously very different. So I'm so curious, in this world three of you, uh, what lesson did you learn from the first year that you wanted to bring to the season? What, what kind of did you bring from the first season to this year? Um, I think we had a lot of confidence going into this uh, season that we could push it even farther because we, you know, we didn't know how uh, people would respond to like the the you know different genres and styles of storytelling for each episode. If that would be something that people would be able to follow and enjoy, um, and all of the twists and turns of the mystery, if people were going to be engaged, and both of those things were really true with the first season that gave us the confidence to like go even wilder with with the genres and being able to do something like a a period piece Jane Austen. Uh, thing where everyone's in in costumes it seemed like the thing that might be too crazy to do in the first season, but now we had the the confidence to be able to go for it, and it made it so much fun to make each episode feel so different and look so different from uh, the one before and the one after, and then to be able to take that mystery and then have a bunch of twists and turns and a bunch of uh, a bunch of surprises so that the audience. Would, uh, with their families or their friends could like debate who did it and did you notice this and did you notice that and being able to do more of that this season uh, was really fun. And also, I don't know, because you brought up the different styles, I've got to ask, like, were there any style, genres, directors, any particular kind of story that like maybe you didn't want to tackle? Was there anything that made it to the, that didn't make it off the cutting room floor in terms of style or uh, tone that you wanted to play with? I mean, I think there's still there's still so many things we can do uh, that, you know, there's a back and forth of the characters. We really want those genres to come out of the characters and who those characters are so that when they start telling the story, you kind of feel like, oh, of course, that's what that story is. And you're excited for it. Um, but the there's definitely other so many other genres. I mean, there's one little fake out this season that I love where uh, Zoe says to Ulysses that she as children, she and Grace thought that he was a spy. And it's like a little bit of a red herring that is like, oh, I bet oh, his story is going to be a spy yeah, story. Uh, and it is it. not at all. <laughs> so, so yeah. I mean, spy story is still on the table. Yeah, there's also <laughs> like, you know, ones that we haven't been able to crack are like Western or sci-fi or things like that. We're like, it doesn't quite fit into the story that we're telling. You don't want these things to feel arbitrary. They have to come out of the character, as Anthony's saying. It has to feel like, oh, this is how this person sees themselves in the world and how they, how when they're telling their story where they're the protagonist of their own movie this is how they see themselves um so you know that's that's where they all come from and then uh and that's what makes it feel satisfying and then kind of speaking of that like because i thought i think that's one of the great strengths of this show is that it can go so silly it can become so ridiculous and this kind of speaks about all of your careers too it's just like these really outlandish concepts and plot but it's all still so character driven it's also so rooted in these evolutions of these growths and these discoveries that these characters make about themselves and each other so, and again, for all three of you, like, what is kind of the key to the approach to it? Like, is there any particular secret ingredient to a, when you're constructing and working on a character that's like, all right, we, we can make them look silly, but we have to ground them? Or, or does it got to come naturally during production? Like, what is that process like for you? Well, you never want to undercut, uh, like, the truth and the reality of the person. And when you're seeing the world from their point of view, you want to feel like maybe they're exaggerating certain things to make themselves look good. But you want to get to the truth of what's behind them. And you, we always want to have a really relatable emotional story in each one. The goal is to start an episode feeling like, oh, I know who this character is and I've got them pegged and then see their story and then empathize with them. And by the end, be like, oh, wow, I'm really rooting for this person. I hope they're not the killer because I really like them and I just want them to get the thing that they want. Um, the and goal of cinema is to like reveal the humanity right. in our lives, not to like conceal it or distance you from it. So hopefully all of this like whiz bang stuff only helps engross right. you more into someone's story. And I think it's fun to see sides of people that you don't get to see that much. Like with like Ken Jong, who you always can see as like a real goofy, silly person, but to be able to see him do that, but also be really emotionally grounded and have like these really heartfelt, like heartbreaking scenes 
that's something that that feels new and exciting or having like John Cho who you like who started in comedy and is incredibly hilarious but you may have forgotten because he's such a great dramatic actor as well to be able to see that side of him again and be like oh he's having fun again I love it you know being able to see how much range all these people have is is really is really special you know like you've seen Paul Walter Hauser recently in Blackbird playing a psychotic serial killer. But, but can he be <laughs> funny? <laughs> it turns out he Prove is. it to yeah. us. Yeah. Um, and- don't, don't. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so, so much. Honestly, I'm out of time, uh, but I wish I had just all day to talk to you three. Uh, congrats again on the season. Such a huge fan of all of your work, especially this. Have a great rest of your day, a great rest of however many more of these you're going to get through. I really hope I get to talk to you guys again soon. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much.